The ladies are completing their warm-up. There's a look at the reigning world champion, Chen Lu. She just came off a great short program, very solid. She needs to put two good programs together here to fend off the competition. Surya Bonali, incredible jumper, suffers a little bit artistically and is also suffering from a little bit of the flu. Nicole Bobek skating extremely well, a lot of confidence, good speed, great jumping, great rapport with the crowd. Michelle Kwan, controlled, focused, and a great competitor. And she has her eye on the next Olympic Games. I thought about like watching Oksana having her medal, you know, around her neck. And it it would be a dream come true if you won the Olympics, you know, who whose dream is not to win the Olympics. Michelle Kwan made it to the Olympic Winter Games in Lillehammer as an alternate. Unable to compete, she'll get her chance in 98 with fellow American Nicole Bobek. In her tour, tour book, I, she had everybody sign it and I wrote, see you in 98. So, me and Michelle for 98. These two will face tough competition in Nagano. Professional Midori Ito is already reinstated to skate on her home country's ice. And if the ISU will change some rules, 92 gold medalist Christy Yamaguchi could do the same as could an eager Oksana Bayul. I hope I see you change the rules and it's like open up and I can ride back to Olympic Games in Nagano 1998. I've really, really wanted to please I should change the rules. Oksana Bayul and Christy Yamaguchi would compete under ISU guidelines and I think that's dangerous because a lot of times judges and officials will be jealous of their success and you know everybody wants the underdog to win. Everybody wants, you know, the, the lesser known person to win. And um, Oksana and Christy Yamaguchi are not that person. But as Boitano knows, the Olympic pull is strong and the current pros could return. How does this new generation feel about that? If they come back, it's, uh, we have just to accept this. <laughs> and if they don't, well, we will be more lucky maybe, <laughs> I don't know. In my personal opinion, would be, it would kind of be unfair because they already achieved their goals and they won their medals. You know, now it's like, it's our turn to go out there and people want to see the new skaters. If they come back, it's good. It's more fun, more exciting. Mm, I don't think I'm just lost. Maybe I can win. I don't have a problem with letting everybody come in because if you're good enough, you know, to be up there, you're good enough to skate the Olympics, I think. Kwan, who really blossomed on the world stage last March, looks forward to that all-star competition. There's only one person who wins Olympics in four years, so it's just, if you win it, you know, you're the luckiest person alive. <laughs>